Hello everybody, how are you? Out here early morning in Los Angeles. Guys, it's time for another Lyrics Explained. This time we're going to go all the way back to that song that was on the radio every 10 seconds in 2018. God's Plan by Drake, of course. Let's kick right into it. The famous intro, and they wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing, they wishing on me, yeah. Verse one, I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me, trying to keep it peaceful is, strugg is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. So, the context of this song has to do with Drake's love for his city of Toronto and more specifically their NBA team the Toronto Raptors and one of the more active involved mascots in the NBA is the Raptor and that is the mascot for the Toronto Raptors now that's great and Drake loves to have that crazy character around because he's Drake's a big fan. But the Raptor is so enthusiastic, he used to roll up to Drake's place in Toronto at six in the morning. Now, he wasn't there to cuddle, as you and I understand the term. You have, to, you have to understand Canadians speak a little bit different language. And, and in Canada, the word cuddle basically means to sit in the same room and drink coffee. Because that's about as close to what you and I know as the word cuddling as they get. So he wanted to hang out. The raptor wanted to hang out with Drake. And he'd roll up at 6 in the morning. Uh, maybe jacked up on caffeine from some all-night diner, maybe a Denny's, maybe an IHOP. Who knows? But that's what he's saying right there. Don't roll up. You know how I like it when you love it on me. Because he knows, he, he wants to hang out with the Raptor, just not at six in the morning. Okay? I don't want to die for them to miss me. You see, the things that Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. They gonna tell the story. Stuff was different with me. So now he's saying he's on the road as a big hip hop rap star. I don't want to die for them to miss me. He wants the team to know he is part of them. He is their unofficial, or maybe official, global ambassador, right? And so, when he's out on the road with Kanye or with Migos, they just did however many nights last year with Migos here at Staples Center, and also down there in Inglewood at the Forum. Uh, you know how, I, let's say, I don't want to die for them to miss me. He wants them to miss him, right? He doesn't want to have to die for them to miss for them to miss him. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. He's talking about the other teams in the NBA. I mean, it's a competitive league. They're saying some not so nice things about Drake and the Raptors, and he says, "I see that. I hope I got some brothers that outlive me." He wants the team to be successful long into the future. He knows that his time at the top of the hip hop mountain is limited. What did, what did Ice Cubed say? That at the top of hip hop, you got three years. At the very tippy top, you got three years. And how long has Drake been at the very tippy top? Well, that clock is ticking. It doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter how big you are. It doesn't matter. I mean, Michael Jackson goes to the very tippy top for decades. But in the tumultuous 
fast-changing world of hip-hop, you only have a few years. Three might be a little short, but Ice Cube would know, but it's going to be limited. And he wants the Raptors to outlast him because he cares for the team that much. They're going to tell the story, stuff was different with me. That is a foreshadowing of a greater role. You watch a greater role that Drake is going to have with the team probably in the near future, right under the chorus. God's plan, God's plan. I hold back. Sometimes I won't. I feel good. Sometimes I don't. I finessed it down Western Road. Might go down at G-O-D. I go hard on Southside G. I make sure that Northside eat. So what do I mean when I say that there's probably going to be a greater role for Drake very soon with the Raptors? Well, this is just my, as an expert on lyrics, okay? And what I, by expert on lyrics, I just mean that I live in Los Angeles. I'm around the music business. I can walk through a restaurant and I you know, I absorb the knowledge of all the music in the town, right? It's in my brain. If I understand it. And, I mean, it says right there. Might go down a G-O-D. Now, what is G-O-D? Great on defense. Great on defense is what that means. I go hard on south side G. I make sure that north side eat. So what do you mean? And then if you, if you understand the Canadian vernacular, I go hard on Southside G means he is good at defense. As a player, Drake as a player is great at defense, but he makes sure that Northside eat, that means he's good at offense as well. He's saying he's an all around player. And this is what I think is happening in this song. He's going to be playing for the Raptors after his hip-hop career is over. You heard it here for you heard it here first. Drake will be a starting player for the Raptors as soon as he deems he's done all he can in the world of hip-hop. It's it's an amazing chorus and it's all right there. Might go down a GOD sure sure it spells the word god maybe he's saying i'm gonna be one of the best better than michael okay better than bird better than magic better than uh, cleveland's and akron zone lebron james because the thing is when you're successful in one field you feel and you know in your bones you could be successful in many fields and i say drake will soon be playing for the toronto raptors starting player why because he can go hard on south side g that's canadian talk for great at defense and he makes sure that north that north side eat is canadian vernacular for being able to drop threes and make it rain threes from anywhere on the court. And still, into the post-chorus, bad things, it's a lot of bad things that they wishing and unwishing and wishing on me. Okay? No matter what he does, in music or in the world of sports, you're always going to have the haters. Especially in highly competitive venues like the NBA, like the world of hip-hop. Okay, you better get your game face on. If you are gonna try to compete at the highest levels of these venues, of these areas of competition, you better have your game face on because you're gonna have people coming at you to take your head off. This, this ain't no child's play at these, in these venues, in these arenas of competition. You better, you better have your game face on and be buckled up. All right, verse two, she say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. Well, okay, of course. If you're traveling with Migos here to Staples and worldwide to different concerts and you are flying around and you're one of the major supporters of a 
leading NBA franchise and you're helping produce other uh, artists' music and you're appearing on other artists' tracks, okay, like the song Forever from 2009 where he appeared with Kanye, uh, Lil Wayne, and Eminem, and someone else that can't come to mind. Uh, who else was the fourth on that one? <laughs> what is the one thing you want more than anything in the world? In that case, if that's your life, sleep. You want to get some sleep? He says it right there. It's right there. I only love my bed and my mom. Well, of course, it's like it's like at the game where people get on the jumbotron and they say, "Hi, mom." Of course, he he loves his mom. We all love our mom. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. Right on himself, he got a tattoo. 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party, and you know me, turn the 02 into the 03 dog. Without 40, Ali, there'd be no me. Imagine, imagine if I never met the Broskis. So the Broskis in this case are the Raptors, right? And he'd say, what, what would have happened if I'd never got involved with the team? Uh, 81, they'll bring their crashers to the party, and you know me, turn the 02 and the 03. So turning the 02 into the 03 is, again, a Canadian language version of taking a game that is not going so well for your team and creating a win, right? Is digging deep and creating a win, and that's what he's saying. He's that He's the guy that when he starts playing for the Raptors, he's gonna be the one that can turn an 0-2, so in other words, the second quarter, where you're down, into an 0-3-0-4 victory. It's more of a Canadian term, a Canadian vernacular. I lived there as a kid, I kind of speak it a little bit. Canadians, Canadians have a different language, the Canadian language. Uh, without 40, I'll either be no me. So. In other words, he's going to be wearing the number 40. Imagine if I never had met the Broskis. In this case, that means the Raptors. So, guys, I mean, think about it this way. Who else can take the Raptors all the way to an NBA championship except Drake? No one. Why? Because a winner is a winner is a winner is a winner. If he can win in the highly competitive world of hip hop, he can use that mental, it's not a physical thing. He's not the biggest guy, but he's got the mental strength that comes from winning at the highest levels of a very competitive area. And that is the world of music, the world of hip hop, the world of rap. I mean, he's transcended boundaries, not just physical boundaries like the border between Canada and the United States as well as around the world but the boundaries that hold us back in our mind the guy is a expert at using your mind to achieve things that you could never thought you could and that's what God's plan is all about I hope that helps